Hey y'all, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and have had a great week. This is Saturday that I'm filming this and I wanted to come on and show you my boxy charm that I finally got in the mail. It's been forever it seems like. I don't know what the deal was. I heard they were moving this month and that was why some of them were late. And then I heard some of it had to do with COVID. And I don't know. Anyway, it just took forever. It came Thursday, I believe, which was two weeks later than normally what it does come. So I'm going to, I know that probably, I got a fuzz or something. I know that most of you are aware of what BoxyCharm is. It's a monthly subscription service. I pay for my BoxyCharm myself. They don't know I exist as far as I know. And I get the base box. Now there is three levels, but the third level only comes quarterly. The box I get is 25 bucks. And some months are good, some months are so-so, and some months are not good at all. But BoxyCharm, on the most part, I would say out of any of them that I've tried, is better than most. And I am trying out another one that is along the same price range, so we'll, we'll find out if that one's any good. Anyway, so I'll leave my link below if you want to sign up for BoxyCharm under my link. It is an affiliate type link. I don't get money, but I do get BoxyCharms that I can use to get add-ons and each month they do have add-ons that you can get and the add-ons is usually kind of half price from what the retail price is like this month i did get an add-on or it come in the august box and that was for the Too faced concealer so i'm looking forward to getting that and i paid 12 dollars for it so that was around half price maybe i don't know exactly how much it is but i believe it's the older concealer the because they've just come out, I think, with another one. And they've also just come out with the matte Too Faced foundation. And I almost ordered it yesterday, but I decided to wait. And if you watch my car vlogs, you may know what I'm waiting on. But I'm not going to get into that right now. That would encourage you to watch my car vlogs. <laughs> okay. So BoxyCharm, like I say, $25 monthly for the base box. $35 for the, I think, the premium box. And then for the luxury box or whatever it's called, it's like for an extra $49. And I think you're charged extra each month, if I remember right. I got the Boxy Lux one time and it was just too much for me to keep going with it. So that's why I stopped it. So we'll go ahead and get started. Now I have not peeked. I did cut the tape, but I have not peeked to see what's inside. I have seen a few others and I'm hoping there's one thing in here, but by the weight of it, I don't think it's in here. <laughs> I'll tell you afterwards. Okay, you always get a card. This is, it says sunshine. It's got, looks like limes and lemons on it. And it shows you a list of the products you got. Now, once in a while, they'll forget to put that card in there. And you'll have to go online to see what it is that you got and the dollar amount of what they cost if you were to order them. So I'm just gonna leave that right here. Right here, I need to keep saying it, I'm sorry. Okay, the first thing I see here is Hola Neon. And this is a velvet liquid lipstick. And I, did, I do think I saw this in somebody's box. The easy sale is what the color is. I have to tear the box to get it open. And you know, I'm a fan of liquid lipsticks as long as they're not too drying. And this is my color. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I'll swatch it. I can tell though, I'll be keeping this one. Some people my age range, 50, over 50, over 60, they don't like liquid, liquid lipsticks because they say they're too drying. Well. I just condition my lips really well beforehand and I don't have that much issue. Now there's a couple out there that you can't mix the base or a lip gloss with it that will not 
do right on your lips, but I don't have any trouble with them. All right. Oh, yes. That's that's a Vicky shade. So there you go. That's what it looks like. So, yes, that's an easy sell for me. So I'm happy with that. Oh, I didn't smell it. You need to smell it. No smell. Now, like Kylie's has a distinct vanilla smell, but that one had no smell. So, I like that. Oh, I see something I do like. It's an hourglass. This is the hourglass brow Michael's micro sculpting pencil. So, yes, I got something good. That is, if you want Hourglass. Now, of course, I've never tried no brow products from Hourglass because we got a spoolie on one end because I usually don't pay that much for brow products. And I'll probably get this and just love it. Yeah, it's got a really fine pencil, fine head. And nothing is coming out. All right. There's no color. Well, there's a little bit of color, but not much. So, nope, that ain't gonna turn me on. I don't know if you can even see it a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I want some color, but we'll see. I know that just by judging it right now, I would not pay $28 for it. But anyway, it says to an ultra precise brow pencil designed to impart the thinnest hair like strokes. Maybe that's why. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, we'll see. We'll use it tomorrow and I'll tell you my thoughts. Okay. Next thing we got is a palette. I think this is a blush palette. This is from Ace Beauté or a Ace Beauty, whatever you want to call it. It's a pretty box. Looks like fall. Well, it's a bronzer palette, that's what it is. And I guess that fits right up into my line because I've been on a bronzer kick. So that's what it looks like. Oh, the phone's ringing. The upstairs phone is ringing. That's, um, there's that one. And I'm not shooting you, bird. There's the darkest one. So I, I and it, they feel good, they feel buttery. Let's just swatch them right here, that, those two, because those will be the two I'd go for. So there you go. I kind of like that deep one, especially, I might like that as eyeshadow, because you could use these as eyeshadows too. So I'm happy with that, and I'm happy with the box. I'm not going to say I'm, not, I'm happy, it's just there's not something in here that I wanted. That means I'm just going to have to end up and buy it if I'm going to get it. Okay, the next thing we have is Grace and Stella Eye Mask. And let's see how much these cost. And I didn't tell you how much the liquid lipstick cost. The liquid lipstick is $17. These eye masks are $21. There's 12 pairs in here. And I don't have my glasses on. Where's my magnifying glass? Let's see if I can see what the first few ingredients are. Water, glycerin, some kind of powder. Crystallis, crystallis powder. Some kind of protein, vegetable protein, corn gluten, amino acids. So this has gluten in it, so don't use it if you want to be gluten free. I don't see what anything in here is going to do. <laughs> but anyway, I use eye masks. I like them, so we'll try them out but I'm not impressed with the ingredients. Okay, the last thing here is something that I did want. This is the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster, Watermelon, Green Tea, and Pineapple. That's what the box looks like. And this is $49.95, so $50. And we'll see what the ingredients are on this. Okay, we got 
Ropa Doll Gluca Lactone Arginine, which Arginine we know is Botox in a bottle, Hydroethyl Cellulose Glycerin. I'm trying to see if there's anything that really pops up at me. Well, there's a lot of things. There's retinol palpitate on down. I'm not sure where the vitamin C is coming from. I guess it's coming from all these citrus oils, which I'm not a fan of. Some kind of radish root. I don't know how good this would be. I may end up using this on my chest. <laughs> but I did like the bottle when I saw the bottle. I thought the bottle was pretty. This is what it looks like. So let's see if this smells like. Clean my hand up here. And I could always just use this on my hands. If I don't want to put it on my face. It feels good. I smell the watermelon slightly. It seems nice. I mean, you can probably see it. The difference, of course. One's wet, one's not. We'll do this. We'll try it and see. I don't think there's enough vitamin C in there to do anything. It's just a glorified item that acts like it is. I don't think it's worth $50. At least not to me, it's not. But that's it. And I don't know how much this adds up to. We'll see if I can add it up in my head. All right, that's 78. Uh, 108, 129. So right at $150, not quite 150, but close. So that's a good deal. I mean, I will use all these products. The one thing I wanted that is not in here, and I'll go ahead and tell you, it was the Soul de Janeiro shampoo. I know that was in some of them, and some of them got both, the, that and the conditioner. But this is fine, I mean, for what I got. I'm not upset at it. It's just I, I, I kind of wanted that. But I know they would not have put that in here and this together, I don't believe, unless I was an influencer. <laughs> I'm not. Although, sometimes the influencer boxes are not as good as what they pay for. And sometimes they're better. You just never know. Because I see both. But anyway, that's my BoxyCharm for July. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you all have a great weekend. And please subscribe if you haven't. Please click the thumbs up. And please comment. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Thank you.